cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. It was a tow truck service gone wrong. A Connecticut couple who winter in the Tampa Bay area had the front end of their RV ripped off. They were stuck at a Davenport campground for weeks on end, and that's when they knew they'd better call Bankin. Just two days after I got involved, their phone started ringing with offers to help make them whole. This was the elite of elites. Sandy and Ron Slosky love RV life and the memories they've made traveling the country with friends. But on January 3rd, on their way to Tampa Bay, the alternator died and the RV had to be towed. Moments after it arrived at a mechanic, they got a call from the tow truck driver. And he said, I messed up. You need to come back. They went back to find this. And all the wiring here is all gone. The couple had to pay nearly $1,000 to tow the now damaged RV to their Davenport campsite. They can't leave Florida until it's fixed. And they say officials at the tow truck and insurance companies gave them the runaround. They said, it's a home, and you damaged my home, and you need to fix everything. And I said, and you need to put us somewhere. Well, let me talk to my boss, and I'll get back to you never heard from them again. It was time for me to do what I do. I started with AAA, who they called to arrange the tow. They assumed that you would know how to haul their motor home and get it somewhere in one piece. And I'm looking at it, and it's in two pieces. AAA tells me it was a contracted third-party towing company from Volusia County that damaged the RV. And that company is responsible for fixing it. Sandy tells me that two days later, they got a call from AAA. He said that he would, um, make it right by me. So he has, well, hoping, um, he's supposed to be sending a check um, for the deductible and the towing fee. Her auto insurance company stepped up too, agreeing to send a check this week so repairs can start this weekend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God, I can't thank you enough. How does he know to call me? Uh, I have a cousin, David, who lives here in St. Pete, and he said, oh my gosh, you got to call um, Channel 8. There's a great Spitfire. She's going to get your stuff back. She, he said, she's tiny, but man, she gets the job done. And here we are, <laughs> getting the job done. And soon the RV should be back in one piece so Sandy and Ron can get back on the road. And a AAA spokesman tells me that once the couple filed a claim with their insurance company, they had to stop mediating this claim. Now the couple's insurance company will pay for those repairs and then go after the towing company for reimbursement. All right, so tell me, <laughs> our tiny but mighty Spitfire, how much will it cost to fix this RV? Well, they got several estimates, and they say it's going to cost about $17,000. The plan is to fix it on site, and those repairs should take a couple of weeks. They hope it will be in time for them to travel back home in April. Fingers crossed. I look yes, forward to the absolutely. update. Thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs solving, better call banking. She's a Spitfire. The number, one 855 bankin or you can reach her at Facebook at WFLA Shannon.